Hi, good girl. Do you want to say hi to our viewer audience? Come here. Say hi. No, oh, she's too excited. You're too excited to say hi? Dad, I'm a dog. I do not say hi. I don't speak. Hello, Joyce. Hello, user. Hello, Tara Jane. Hey, somebody's sending me a like already. Okay, Holly, I got you too excited. Maybe you need to chill. What a surprise, Terry Jane. I've been going live occasionally at night. I'm not making any... Good evening, Jack Taylor. I'm making no commitment, you know. I think I'm a little commitment-phobe. For a guy that's been married twice, I don't know, maybe that I'm not... Maybe I'm not really commitment-phobe. I had this hoodie on earlier. Ugh, I'm gonna take it off. It was a little hot. Hi, Jolly Jolly. Hot. And I uh, just didn't want it anymore. I felt I'd be a little more free to do whatever I want. Speaking of giving people what they want. Is anybody out there wanting that? Want a little of that? That's almost something like Ben Stiller would say. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, hello, and thank you all for joining. Hello, not that guy. Um, good evening to you. My name is Ken Tracy, and for those that don't know, who might be first tuning in tonight, this is Coffee with Ken, and this is a little show I started a long, long time ago. Show about me talking. I am lighting the candle to set the mood. I'm a hopeless romantic uh, it's a show about me talking and sharing some feelings and sharing some stuff I'm going through and just kind of sharing the ups and downs we have in life. Ooh. And I talk about it. I've talked about it on like 10 different videos. I think my dog Holly has probably the coldest nose of any, oops, sorry, any dog in history. And it's always cold and wet and she rams it into my arm like a battering ram, like, I don't know, Mel Gibson and Braveheart trying to knock through a castle wall or door or whatever. I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but that's, look what she's doing. Look what she's doing. We just got back from a walk. She was just out back. She's getting so excited. You gotta chill a little bit, Holly. Um, anyway, I just got back from business planning number two and wanted to share my goals and how I did last uh, over the last six days. My first meeting with business planner, for those that care, if you don't care, tune out for about a minute. But anyway, was last Thursday on uh, January 12th. I met with them. At the time, I had 4,433 TikTok followers and 592 on YouTube. I set some goals for today, which is Wednesday the 18th, of 4,700 TikTok followers, which would have been an increase in 267 and uh, 625 followers or subscribers on YouTube which would have been an increase of 33. As far as TikTok, I hit 4646, so I fell a little bit short, but I still picked up 213 followers in six days for anybody that cares. Uh, uh, yeah. um, and uh, uh, what was I gonna say? I ended up at 630 subscribers on YouTube uh, uh, which was an uh, increase of 38 in six days. So I'm averaging, I don't know, six and a third uh, a day on YouTube for uh, the last six days, which I don't know, it's pretty good. And I, again, I was just throwing out numbers and throwing out, uh, yeah, you're right, Jackson, I probably will be. I'm a pro moderator. Are you really pro? Well, not that guy. I'll, we'll, we'll talk. I'm going to send you a follow. Uh, I'm going to send you a follow. I got a bunch. I'm very fortunate to have a whole bunch of uh, good people that follow my page and kind of tune in every, uh, 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 every uh, uh, almost every live show. I think they must be TikTok fools. Because they always know. I don't even have to tell them I'm going live and they're there. They're almost on TikTok more than I. They must be more than I. They must be. So many people go, what do you do all day? You're posting TikToks all day. 
And I'm not really posting TikToks all day. I do a live video every morning at 8 o'clock. And I uh, edit that up and I make a bunch of posts throughout my day. My day was great today. Super uh, secret spam. Just need more live hours to go out and get some stuff. And do some stuff. You think so? Well, thank you for my personality. I've got a great personality. <laughs> I've got this woman you should meet, Ken. She has a great personality. <laughs> Just decent. It makes me laugh a little bit. Kind of reminds me of that. It's been a long time since I've been in the dating world. Not even that long. Oh, anyway, I just got back from my business meeting. I shared with my goals. Oh, my goal for next Wednesday will be to be at 4,900 uh, followers on TikTok, which would be an increase of 254 in a week. So what's that? About 35 a day. And I'm hoping to pick up 40 more subscribers on YouTube to get me to 670. So uh, I think those numbers, I think... The more I do this and the more I share it and the more I talk about it, the more it's going to happen. And I think I'm going to get it fairly well down uh, how many new followers I'll get on TikTok when I go live, you know, and it jumps around a lot. But I'll get to average it out and figure it out. And again, my goal by March 31st, and I've got it written down, is 10,000 on uh uh, TikTok. And yeah, I think if I went live more, it would get me there quicker. Hello, Tammy. Thank you for joining. Hello, Curly Frizz. Hello, Chunk of Change. How are you? I forgot where Chunk... Oh, Chunk of Change. Hi, Val. How are you? Wow, I actually know some people here. Chunk of Change lives in Oakbrook. Oh, by the way, I just got back from a business meeting. This might gross some people out. I've laid out my dinner plans for this evening. And I thought just for an aperitif, I'd have a little sauerkraut. So for those that are grossed out by pickled cabbage, again, look away. But I'm kind of hungry, and I hear it's good for you. So I'm going to have a little snack while we're talking. Uh, not good COVID got me this week. Oh, Val, I hope you're feeling better. hope it's not too serious. Mm. I think it's really good. RJ. RJ. You're not even funny, man. Oh, by the way, a little disappointing. My beverage of choice tonight, and since I'm not drinking co coffee, or not drinking coffee because it's nighttime, and I chuckled. I laughed inside where it counts. It's a little lemonade. I'm totally, I am totally out of what I'm usually drinking on uh, Friday nights. Not Friday nights, nights. Uh, it, um which is uh which is uh non-alcoholic Bex, you know and that's my usual beverage of choice when i'm with you and <laughs> is usually my beverage of choice and i'm not drinking that tonight i'm drinking some lemonade and i'm looking forward to having a sip and i hope wherever you guys are a free book, 20 pack, 30 pack of Bush non-alcoholic. I appreciate that. I hope wherever you guys are, whatever you're doing, you got a uh, uh, beverage of your choice. And you're as excited to take your first sip as I am. And uh, wherever you are, cheers to us. Mm. Oh, it's not bad. It's no Bex non-alcoholic. I'm having a great night. Well, I just got home. My night hasn't really started. I had a great day. Got a lot done. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm going to share this, though. Uh, yeah. I had an appointment. I thought it was today. Think. Wait. I kind of like Jack's son. Or did you, I think you're missing somebody, moderators. Uh, but anyway, I kind of like Jack's son, don't we? Don't we like Jack's son? He's positive, generally. Uh for those that don't know and are just tuning in for the first time, I didn't even know. Oh, Daddy, okay. Well, RJ, I trust you. Uh, about two weeks ago, I think, I started using some moderators uh, because apparently there's a lot of trolls on this platform. I don't, uh, well, I do know why. It's because TikTok doesn't do a good job of, they allow people to create fake accounts all day. And, uh, yeah, Jack. 
And uh, uh, so trolls have a good place to run and live free because you can't stop them from hopping on your lives or on your videos and they make endless comments. So this is the one platform that I've seen where they actually <laughs> smash that like button where they allow moderators to come in and kind of set up some defense for you. Uh, so I'm fortunate to have some friends here on TikTok that... Um, you know, kind of do that, kind of like my offensive lineman and blocking for me and, you know, allowing the conversation. Uh, <laughs> see, we're letting this person go. <laughs> uh, hello, two girl mom. Thank you. Thank you. Tara Jane, thank you. That was her third comment. I was wondering where my guys were. Tara Jane came in, had my back. We let one person make three mean comments to me. Do you? All right, well, not that guy, pal. Did I send you, I think I followed you. Well, you don't even give them three strikes when they're coming. You know, that second one was a get out of there. Jack Taylor, you were an offensive lineman? Oh, for some reason, Jack Taylor, I always picture you a little bit. Man, so I'm shocked to hear you're an offensive lineman. I'm going to have my second scoop full of sauerkraut. And again, uh, for anybody that is grossed out by sauerkraut, look away. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay. It's really quite good. It's supposed to be good for you. Hello, Keith. Yeah. You're getting huge, though, now, aren't you, Jack? Sorry, that was a weight gain wet joke. I just wanted to commiserate with you because I think I weighed in at 218 today. <laughs> and uh, I think that might be my all-time high without boots on. So I'm going to start my diet tomorrow. I mean, I'm not. I'm eating sauerkraut. Hello, Georgia Peach. How are you? Felicia? I so appreciate you guys for tuning in. I really don't know what I'm going to talk about. I'm sorry about that, Jack. I feel bad. I don't like to say mean things. It slipped. It was because I was feeling bad about myself. And I thought belittling you would make me feel better. You know what? It made me feel worse. So I'm sorry. You're perfect the way you are, Jack Taylor. <laughs> I love you just the way you are. Do you guys remember 70s music? Is anybody old enough? I think that was a 70s song. I don't know if my versions of the singing ever do it any justice. And you guys even know what I'm talking about. Hey, Holly. Holly just licked the jar. I'm holding my own, so to speak. Hope all is well. Okay, well, thank you, Felicia. I mean, uh, life's full of ups and downs, but we navigate through them and we do the best we can. And we search for joy as... Uh, Oh, well, thank you, Karen Smith. That's so sweet of you. Curly Frizz likes 70s music. And Karen, uh, Patty says uh, 60s. Patty, I don't know. I'm not going to ask you how old you were, but I'm wondering, like, are you talking like Beatles and Rolling Stones 60s and even Zeppelin at the end? Although Zeppelin came in so late. You love my hairless head. I'm, I mean... I'm not totally single. I'm going through a divorce. And I'm not sure I'm totally ready to mingle, but I appreciate that. And I don't know. Be warned, ladies. I know it's sexy. I know it is sexy. You're <laughs> Every woman wants a man that'll drink sauerkraut right out of the jar. It's very funny. I think not drinking alcohol or smoking pot has given me the freedom to be exactly who I want to be and the kind of weird me, but funny and strange. I used to think I had to be drunk or something to be interesting. Well, Karen Smith, you're saying I'm super cute or something and now you're saying I look like Will Ferrell. I've heard that. My stepson, Tommy, uh, has always said I look like Will Ferrell. And, uh, you know, I think Will Ferrell's very funny. And in Elf, I think he has this kind of silly, youthless enthusiasm for life that I do. You know, 
on TikTok, they post uh, that video about the cowbell. I see it fairly often or almost, you know, every few days. And it's just so funny. And uh, I forgot that, you know, I hadn't seen it in a couple of years till recently. And I forgot it was Will Ferrell uh, that was doing the uh, cowbell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if it was planned. Have you guys seen it? Uh, I don't know if you've seen it for a while. Um but like Will Ferrell's shirt starts popping up and he's going like crazy all over it and really hammering the cowbell. And it's just a pretty funny scene. So makes me chuckle. Uh, so again, I don't know what I have for you tonight or how long I'm going to talk or what my plans are. Um, I'm looking forward to dinner. I've laid it out. Do you guys want to know what I'm having? I'm sure you do. Love Will Ferrell. When you get a chance, look up Lip Sync Panel with him, Kevin Hart, and Jim Fallon. Uh, I'm a Cubs fan, if I'm a fan. I hate to say it, I'm barely a fan. I'm barely a fan. I used to be like a crazy Cubs fan, and I've talked about it a bunch, so I don't need to tell the story of what happened in 2003-2004 with my uh, Cubs. I'm going to start my dinner. And when I say start my dinner... I'm going to grab my Oscar Mayer hot dogs. There's one left in this bag. <laughs> I really like to go basic with my explanations. I don't want to confuse anybody. I'm going to throw it in a bowl. And I'm going to grab another one out of here. Stay tuned because you don't want to miss a moment of this excitement. It's a cooking tutorial. I, I actually made a salad on a live video a couple weeks or a week or so ago. I'll often make frozen pizzas. So as we... <laughs> I've actually got a video on TikTok about how to do, to make hard boil the perfect egg. And it's actually true. And I learned how. And it's valuable. A uh, couple hot dogs in bowl. Pop it in the microwave. We'll just go for like 42 seconds just because the, there was already 12 on there and there's a button to add 30. Uh, and I'm not dating anybody right now. I, I'm aspiring in the next bit to go to a movie with a woman sometime in the next six months. But right now, I'm so emotionally spent from a relationship I'm working through. But I appreciate you guys, your interest. I really do. Celery salt on the hot dogs. Uh, I probably would. I probably would. Did anyone else get a fundraiser message with Ken's name? Ken, was this from you or spam? I have no idea. I had nothing to do with it. So I assume it's spam. I think... Uh, yeah, no, Denise, that's what I feel. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I mean, I see a therapist. I'm going through stuff. I'm going through a divorce. Going to court for stuff that it's unpleasant. And I think so many people pour right back... <laughs> into uh, relationships that um, pour right back into relationships that uh, so quickly, you know, and I used to do that, you know, when I was dating after my first marriage, I'd get on match.com and I'd meet a woman out at a bar and have some drinks and maybe appetizers. And we'd both bitch about our ex-husband or wife. And it was just so stupid. And it was so unhealthy and so stupid. And honestly, if you do it three times a week, it was pretty damn expensive. Uh, hi, Karen Smith. I, too, went to University of Illinois. That's strange. I don't know where you're from. Yeah, Denise, and if it takes four years, I'm cool with it. Holly and I are rocking and rolling. I eat what I want, which tonight, after not much consideration. Oh, by the way. I don't want to get you too excited, but I've got a can of Hormel chili with beans. I usually had the hot ones, but I couldn't find them at the grocery store. And while I'm explaining the minutest details of my cooking, I really do enjoy when the tops are these pop tops. And I wonder how much harder it is for the manufacturer to make them that way so I don't have to get out my can over can opener. Hey, Chunka, thank you! Hope Oakbrook is well tonight. Uh, that woman lives not too, too far from me in uh, Oakbrook, Illinois. My chili's a little thick. This is not a pleasant look. But again, I'm not, I never promised you guys a rose garden. The show started with me eating sauerkraut. 
and now I'm scraping chili out of a can. It's just the way mom used to make it. My mother was not a good cook. She grew up in Scotland, and for those that have never been to Britain, Britain's beautiful. Britain is beautiful. But I think their food basically sucks. They eat like things like haggis. And I believe, and if there's any British people out there and they call me out and say I'm wrong, I'm sorry in advance, but I believe haggis is sheep intestine, like stuffed with meh stuff. All the other parts of the sheep. And it's not very appealing. And I had some. It's not really tasty. They do make some mean fish and chips. Oh, by the way, for anyone wondering how I did it, I popped the microwave on for two minutes, and in two minutes I'll go. <laughs> Somebody asked me, and I know you're calling, what is my meal called? Hot dogs and chili? And But I haven't really shown you what makes it so special when I make my hot dogs and chili. And again, I set the microwave, I've done the hot dogs for 42 seconds, poured a can of chili in it, Pop them in the microwave. I microwave like nobody's business. And, uh, oh, that's interesting. Um, set it for two minutes. And in two minutes, I'm going to go back and check. I like my chili really hot. And I'll show you why in a minute. Karen Smith, you're from Illinois, obviously. I went to U of I. I graduated in 90. Kenzie Schmancy, that's kind of a fun pet name. Hello, Sid Mueller. Thank you for liking no, Jack Taylor, I'm just going to eat it out of a bowl. No uh, buns. I could have made buns. Uh, I could have made... Holly! There's not much sauerkraut left in here, but I'm kind of distracted. And I have uh, my second phase of my dinner coming to me. So I'm going to put away... Don't I need water for the hot dogs? Why would I need water for the hot dogs? I'll tell you what. There's a whole group of people that boil hot dogs. Hello, bad move, nothing good about it. Hey, uh, Denny, thank you. Nothing good about boiling hot dogs. My mother again used to do that. I think it gets rid of all the good flavor. It takes time and tastes zero better. You microwave hot dogs and oh, they're fairly good. I'll tell you what, they're good. They're really good. And I would strongly recommend for those that don't know or have never tried it, microwave your hot dogs next time. They're delicious. So again, I don't know how long. I'm going to give the chili another 30. Maybe I won't. The bowl feels really hot. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to talk for you. Morning live. Nice to see you tonight. Who is that? I can't read. Uh... Yeah, well, I enjoy the morning live. It's a great way for me to get started with my day. Um, thank you, Felicia. A great way for me to get started with my day. I do a video every morning where I have my first sip of coffee. Um, Johnny Lightning, that's interesting. Probably at work, but I don't do that, and they taste awesome anyway. Um, it's a great way for me to start my day. Usually me getting motivated and getting out of bed takes me really thinking about uh, my coffee and the video I want to do and expressing myself and getting my emotions out there. And you know what I'm saying. Okay, I, I, can you see if I go over here? Yes, you can. By the way, my table's a mess and I apologize. I don't know if you guys can see me. But I'm going to come on over and bring it back so you get a close-up look of what I'm about to do. I'm going to put a generous amount of, heaping amount of cheese on top of my uh, chili dogs. And I'm going to look forward to eating it. And I'm going to put this away. I'm probably going to say bye to you guys and eat my chili. I miss you a little bit. I'll miss you a little bit. If I do, will you guys miss me? If I say bye and turn on the TV and look for a cool movie, will you guys be okay? I think I'll be okay because I got this delicious 
Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know what you're looking at there. I can't really tell. It's not a good angle. Uh, a delicious bowl of chili with cheese and hot dogs. I like the all beef hot dogs, by the way. I usually get the Oscar Mayer because they're the ones with the self-sealed... Uh, um, uh, packaging, which I think makes sense. Just kind of like the top, pop top uh, chili that I like. So, um, I don't know. Your Christmas is still up. Oh, yeah. I do have my Christmas. My daughter, I got my Christmas tree. I almost want to tell you something kind of creepy about that Christmas tree. I won't. Uh, and then... <laughs> My Christmas lights and my cards. I have taken down my stockings. I did take down... Oh, the tape's still up above the door. I did take down my stars and snowflakes. Uh, is John Wick on AMC? I've never seen John Wick. Uh, the creepy... It's not that creepy. It's a little creepy. Okay, I'll tell you. The other day, there was a rather large-looking spider-ish creature crawling along the top of my wall. For those that know me... I don't like killing things generally. And I was laying down, I was probably tired and I saw it and I just kind of let it go. And <laughs> since that time, you know, I'll have that Christmas tree going and usually that light will be off next to it if you see that. <laughs> and I saw some movement over behind the Christmas tree. And what it is, I think the spider has made a home in the... Uh, Christmas tree, like right on the other side of one of the lights. And it looks like this huge monster is crawling around on my wall. And I've been a little, I'm a little scared of spiders, to be honest with you. I'm somewhat frightened to go dislodge the spider from the tree. Because uh, I think he's living happily over there. And he's probably killing some bugs from time to time. And they do their thing. And they generally leave us alone. But again, if you would have seen, it's not that creepy. But if you would have seen the shadow on the wall... I know it's not that creepy. He is my roommate. I'm going to have to name him. Let's name him Jack. <laughs> I'm going to name him Jack. Hey, Lisa. Thank you so much for following the host. Sometimes I get a ton of new followers on these lives. Uh, yeah, but it's cold outside. Plus, he's not. I mean, I don't see a shadow. I mean, it was kind of creepy the other day when I had the light off. And I was watching something, and I looked over there, and there was some movement. And again, the shadow made it look like he was two feet large. He did look fairly large crawling on my wall. Uh, and yes, I usually kind of take them out as gently as I can. And why does everyone have... I only have Augie on Tuesday and Thursday from 3 to 7 and Sunday all day. And he sleeps over probably one night every week, sometimes every two weeks. Uh, so we, he's if he's not with me, he's. I, although I haven't checked up on him in the last little bit, I'm assuming that he's at his mother's house. Have I ever seen a ghost? Uh, no, although I'm believing in getting into spirituality a little bit more and at its base. Well, we all love, I love Augie. I promise you, I do too. Um... Uh, I'm not sure I believe in ghosts, but I, I know people do. And I, I mean, people really do. And I don't really believe in ghosts. And I watched a lot of scary Halloween movies this year, uh, before Halloween, obviously. Thank you, Tara Jane. Uh, but I think it's going to stay hot for a little bit. And I was fair. I got scared. I mean, I watched a bunch of Halloween movies and I was walking around my little house and I was imagining, um, uh, Jason was behind, in every room. I was waiting to see that Halloween mask, and I was kind of scared. Hello, Keith. Keith, I'm about to eat my chili uh, with cheese and hot dogs. Selena. Yeah. Uh, her name is Eve. How old Nora is Riley? Uh, I got a little daughter named Eve as well. Uh, she's real little. And I haven't had her on video yet, but she's beautiful. She's really beautiful. Her mom is really beautiful, honestly. Her mom's gorgeous and has beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eyes. And uh, Eve is very beautiful. Okay. All right, Keith, probably delivering some stuff. But I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, for you. A Man Called Isle starring Tom Hanks. Is it new? Is it new? 
My man Jack Taylor was singing the praises of uh, The Whale uh, this morning or this afternoon, I think. And I think that's supposed to be a real good one. Uh, a Man Called Otto, starring Tom Hanks. Somebody owns the cat or something. I've seen some stuff with Tom Hanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, Tom Hanks actually did a TikTok. You know, there's a lot of talk about shutting TikTok down, but it seems to be growing and not retracting. So I would imagine it's going to continue to grow. And I have a ton of fun on it. And I enjoy the creativity that you can do on your videos. And you feel more like an artist when you create a TikTok than maybe a post on a different social media site. And it's fun. And you can edit it. And you add music. And you add words. And you got to put some thought and some creativity into it. And I enjoy the heck out of it. Uh, so I hope you guys follow my page. I hope you get some value from my videos. I do a lot of silly, stupid videos. I do some that have a lot of meaning and make me cry when I watch them. I do some that I consider somewhat inspirational of me just kind of overcoming challenges and getting to the other side as best I can. So, uh, I enjoy this platform a ton and I hope you follow me on this page. Uh, I hope you have a nice dinner in front of you, uh, I doubt it's going to be as tasty as what I'm looking at here because this is going to be delicious. And uh, I'm going to have one more sip of lemonade. Uh, cheers to us. And again, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Uh, I, yeah, I look forward to sleeping. I'm pretty tired. Uh, onions would be good on this, by the way. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And uh, as always, I hope to talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.